ఒక In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the side panel of a PC case with a piece of acrylic slash perspex. Now, the reason why I am doing this is because I stupidly let the side tempered glass panel of my PC case slip from my fingers while it was on my tiled floor and even though it was only 10 millimeters off the ground once it hit the tiles because it's a piece of tempered glass it completely shattered into a million pieces so after a little bit of research i came to the conclusion that rather than replacing it with a piece of glass which is more expensive i decided to use a piece of acrylic instead not only is it affordable, but it's much easier to work with than glass and also lighter as well. In my particular case, because the tempered glass on my PC case was clear, I decided to use a transparent clear piece of acrylic as well. That way you can still see all the hardware from the side panel, just like you could originally with the tempered glass. Now, you can also get colored acrylic pieces. That would look good as well. As long as the theme of your PC is suited to that um, colored panel, then you know, you're good to go. We'll jump over here and I'll show you guys how I'm going to measure it, cut it, and also um, fit it to the PC case. So let's get into it. What I have here is a piece of three mil acrylic. And also I have a measuring tape, a marker, and a straight edge level. Now, if you don't have a straight edge level, you can simply use like a metal ruler or anything with a straight edge just to help you mark it out. In order to cut it, you can use either a Stanley knife or what they call a utility knife. Or you can buy a knife that is actually used to cut acrylic and perspex. Basically, we're going to mark out our side panel, we're going to cut it and drill the four holes that's going to allow our screws to hold it down. A very simple procedure. The point of the utility knife, because the acrylic is only about three mil thick, what you can actually do is keep your straight edge against your line and use a utility knife and simply keep scoring it until you get all the way through. Doing it with a utility knife is also going to allow you a straight cut as well. It's just all about how you hold down your straight edge and uh, whether or not you slip. But as long as you're pressing against your straight edge, you're going to always get a perfectly straight cut. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna mark it out and then uh, we'll get cutting. We're going to measure exactly what our side panel is. Okay, so here I have 435 by 400. 435 by 400. So that's going to be our measurement. But instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is simply follow the straight line on this side and the straight line on this side. And then I'm simply just going to mark it out with the straight edge that I have. I'm going to use this and push up against it to make it completely straight. Pull it forwards, just make sure it's just completely straight. Okay, that's good. This is straight on this side as well. Perfect. Now I'm simply just going to draw out my straight lines. Run this along here. We'll draw out my straight line. And we'll draw out my straight line this way as well. There we go. Now all we have to do is basically cut it. I'm just going to double check. Perfect. This is like a piece of rubber that's going to allow me to cut and it also has lines on it to guide me for straight cuts. I'm simply going to line this up with the line. This is what I mean by a utility knife. Here in Australia we call it a Stanley knife. A very sharp blade that's going to allow me to keep scoring it until it cuts through. I'm going to make sure that I use a completely new blade so it's very sharp. Test it, make sure it stays put. What we need to do here is make sure we apply a lot of pressure on this so that it does not move at all. And then we simply cut straight. Nice and slow, running along the edge. Just keep repeating it until you're almost through. With every cut, it's going to get deeper and deeper. I 
right. Now that we've made such a scoring, we can simply just run the blade straight through. Because we've already made our cut pattern. We just keep doing this until it cuts completely through. I'm not using the straight edge anymore and I'm simply just running it in the same spot. Eventually what's going to happen is I'm going to cut straight through. Be very careful, do not cut yourself accidentally. And don't go off to the sides by mistake. You want to make sure you're keeping completely straight. Okay, it seems like we're we're just a bit past halfway, so we'll just continue until we go all the way through. Just keep checking how far we've gotten. So now that I am pretty much about three quarters through, let me show you what I mean. As you can see right there, I'm more than halfway through. So watch this. See how I just snapped it just there? You can break it once you're more than halfway through. So now we'll cut the other side. That broke perfectly as well, guys. We'll set our level on it once again. Grab our utility knife and cut it once again. By a lot of pressure and cut. Now that we've already scored it, we can now just do what we did before and simply run our blade in the line. Okay, we're almost halfway. So now that we've cut it more than halfway, let's just say about three quarters. All I'm going to do now is take this off. I'm going to push it to the edge where we can break it. And then we're going to line up the end of the table with our cut like this. We have to cut through the plastic first. Now we're going to break it this way. Perfect. As you saw just then, I just pushed down and we managed to crack it all the way. Now we'll just cut it. And that's going to give us our piece. Now let's just see if it will fit. Let's put it up here. Let's check the fitting. Perfect. We want these edges to be the cleanest because they show most. Mark where our screw holes are going to be. Drill them out so they will sit in flush. I'm going to line up where I want my piece to sit. Okay, so here's one hole here. Here's another hole here. Yeah, here's another one right here. Always double check your lines are exactly how you want them. We need to drill out these holes until we get it to the exact size. Okay, you notice these here? There's four of them. What we're going to do is slowly drill it out and step out the drill bigger and bigger until we get this to the perfect size. All our holes are marked now. We can now simply drill them out. What I'm going to do is start off with a really small drill bit. That way I can just slowly step it up and not accidentally drill too big. We'll set it on drill. There we go. That's one, two, 
three, four. We'll step it up slowly. So we'll go with number three now. All right, we'll step it up again. Try to get in the center and then drill. We're trying to drill a hole about seven mil wide. All right, seven should be seven mil wide. Step it up to a uh, 7.5. Right. Let's just give that a trial fit and see if it fits. And perfect, look at that. It fits perfectly guys. <laughs> I cannot believe that worked out perfectly guys. Alright, we'll grab our screws and screw them in. A completely flush side panel. Peel this off. 